Hello everyone, welcome to part 2 of Laravel 11 series in which we are creating the e-commerce website with Laravel and MongoDB. Laravel we are using as a front end and MongoDB as a back end for managing the database for our e-commerce website. So in this video we are going to connect our Laravel website that we have downloaded in the last video. We able to install the Laravel 11. Okay, so we are going to connect that with MongoDB and also we are going to create the database in mongodb so first step is to create the database actually in mongodb after that we are going to connect it with our laravel okay so uh, see in the last video we able to install laravel 11 and uh, we know the steps uh, that we have taken uh, to install and set up mongodb okay on windows as well as the mac okay so i have uh, clearly explained you in the last video that you can watch those videos uh, for installing the MongoDB in Windows as well as in Mac. Okay, uh, so let's come back to in this part. So please watch the first video. See if you have the issue. If the MongoDB is not installed yet, then you can simply add in comments that the MongoDB is not installed. Then I will help you for that. Okay. Uh, so first of all, we are going to create the database in MongoDB. So open the MongoDB compass and we can click on connect. After connecting it, uh, then we can click here. See, all the steps are given here as well. You can open the video description and you can find the complete instruction of this video in uh, is given in the description as well. Okay, so these are the steps that uh, we are going to take uh, to create the database in MongoDB, in MongoDB Compass. Okay, and we are going to create the database with name Project 11. Okay, and after that, we are going to install the package. Uh, for uh, 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 for Laravel MongoDB package for Laravel okay but first of all we are going to create the database in our MongoDB okay so here from here we can uh, you can click on this plus sign and can create the database here uh, project 11 and uh, you need to give the collection name as well okay so here you we, we are going to give the test collection that we are going to delete uh, once the database gets uh, once we will import or once we will create the other collection so we can delete this collection later on okay because it is mandatory to uh, create the collection as well at least you need to create one collection along with the database in mongodb okay so we are going to create this database so here you can see the Mo the project 11 database has been created along with the test collection okay so see here in mongodb we used to call the collection in mysql database we used to call the tables in sql and mysql we used to call the tables but here in mongodb we used to call it as collection and the collections are in json format okay so uh, we are going to add the data in our collection uh, so uh, but first of all we are going to install the package okay so here i'm going to open once again so we are going to install the mongodb package for laravel okay so this is the command that you are required to copy simply copy this command and uh, going to run for your project uh, i'm going to run this for my project i'm going to uh, my xamp folder st docs uh, project 11 i will right click here services new terminal at folder and here i'm going to run this one this command composer require mongodb laravel mongodb okay so it will take few seconds uh, and it will install this mongodb package for our laravel website laravel 11 website so you can see the package has been installed okay so the package has been uh, installed version 4.2 has been installed you can check in composer.json by opening this composer.json and you can see here this mongodb laravel mongodb packet has been installed version 4.2 latest version of this package has been installed for our laravel 11 website so let's come here and now see here is the reference link also you can open this reference link that i have provided in the video description so that you will find it really easy i am just following the instruction that is provided by the mongodb okay so here also you can see that we are following all these steps okay 
so we have installed that laravel package so after installing the laravel package we need to update see this package we have installed now okay so after installing this package we are required to update the database.php file where we are going to add this mongodb connection as well so i am going to open the database.php file in our project and here uh, while going down you can see the mysql we generally use the mysql for all the laravel e-commerce series we have used the mysql for making the e-commerce website in laravel 10 we have used the mysql as well but now we are using the uh, mongodb for the first time that is the nosql database okay so here we are going to add its connection as well so i'm going to copy this correction and we'll paste it here okay so just align it we can align it like this and uh, here once again i am going to give my uh, uh, database that i have given here uh, that is the project 11 so i'm going to give my database here project 11 rest everything will remain the same okay so let's go let's see the further steps okay so after this uh, what we are going to do we are going to update the dot env file okay we are going to update the dot env file uh, with uh, our connection mongodb connection and other things let's open the dot env file now and here uh, see few of the things we are required to update here you can see the db connection is sql light but here now we are using the mongodb see SQLite is by default DB connection in Laravel 11. It is not used earlier in Laravel 10, but in Laravel 11, it is used by default. But now we are going to use the MongoDB for our SQL connection. So we will name it as MongoDB. Okay. So DB host, we can use the same one. DB port. Yeah, DB port, we are going to change. See, DB post, port, we are going to use uh, here. Uh, uh, 27017 here you can see localhost 27017 at the top so we are going to use this db port uh, 27017 okay so uh, so db database uh, db database once again uh, that the database that we are using that is the project 11 and db username we are not using any db username so we will left it empty and db password we are not using any password so we will left it as well but one more thing we are going to use here we are going to use here db uri that is the mongodb localhost 27017 that is same uh, that uh, is shown here at the top you can see okay so the same we are going to add here as well okay so after this uh, we are going to modify the uh, user model as well see we are going to add the default tables by uh, by running the php artisan magnet command but before that we are required to make these changes see here user model here we are going to uh, make one change uh, here instead of this one we are going to add here the mongodb laravel auth so here this one illuminate foundation will not come now instead of this it will come mongodb uh, slash laravel slash auth so this one will come mongodb slash laravel slash auth slash user as authenticable so this change we are going to use uh, we are going to do uh, and it's mentioned in the comments as well we are going to replace this one with this one okay we are going to replace this uh, Ill Ill illuminate foundation auth user with the mongodb laravel auth okay so now finally we are going to run this command php artisan magnet command so this command we are going to run for our project so that uh, the default tables get created like users table will get created as well php artisan magnet see same thing we used to do with the mysql as well we used to create the default tables there as well now we will create the default collections here in the mongodb as well okay so i'm going to uh, run php artisan magnet and you can see that we are creating the default tables here in our mongodb user table cashier table jobs table okay let's see uh, in here and now i'm going to refresh it and we'll see that the default tables has been created or not uh see uh, it is not showing any table let's refresh it or let's reconnect it okay 
I'm going to disconnect and going to connect it once again uh, to see if the tables has uh, come here or not and now you can see yes after disconnect and connect again you can see uh, so many tables so many collections are added in the project 11 database along with the users collection as well so so this is the way uh, that we can connect the mongodb with laravel and we can insert we, we can add all the default collections to the uh, mongodb okay so mongodb database our project 11 database we able to uh, add all the default collections like this okay so uh, so now uh, uh, we will forward to the next video in the next video uh, we are going to uh, see let's see what we are going to do in the next video in the next video we are going to integrate the admin template in laravel okay we will start integrating our admin template uh, in our Laravel 11 website, okay. So straight away we will start working on our e-commerce website and we'll start creating the admin panel first of all for our e-commerce website, okay. So please stay tuned for the next video. That's all for now. Have a nice time. Goodbye.